Here we are, our first official YouTube video. I'm so excited. Wait, you don't have your mom's shirt on. Can you get it? It's over there. Oh, much better. There we go. Okay, sorry, I'm a total newbie. But for our first video, we are going to go over the Toy Box Alpha 1. That was our first printer that we got Christmas 2022. Here we are. We're going to go ahead and do an unboxing. When your toy box comes, it's going to have a roll of coconut, printer food. They call it printer food because they're all named after foods, right, Vic? Yeah. So printer food. Under here is going to be a bag with your cord and your spool holder. And we're going to carefully remove all of this. So some of them now come with sticky pads. It's really just blue painter's tape to help your prints adhere to the magnet better. So this is your printer bed. This goes up and down. We use a pinch, thumbs on top, fingers on bottom. You want to move that down so you can remove your magnet, Victor. This is our printer magnet. That's where your prints stick to, and then you pull the whole magnet off when you're done. So we're going to actually show you how we set this up and get going. You want to explain this? This is a spool holder, and it goes... In the back, in these three holes, so I put it in, twist it, now it's in there. Okay, you're going to have your cord back here. Sometimes this does not get a super tight fit. That's okay. It's going to work fine. We're going to move the printer bed up and out of our way. Don't be shy about it. Now that we're connected, let's get our printer food ready. We're going to use yellow so you guys can see it. We like to have a nice clean cut end sticking through this tiny hole of our spool so we're ready. You can use scissors or you can use snippers. We like the snippers better. Yeah. We're going to put this on the back of our printer by snapping it into place, pull out of the hole, and you're going to put that end into the tiny hole on the extruder box. What if I have a bigger spool? That's a good question, Vic. If you have a bigger off-brand spool, you can actually print a larger spool holder from the Toy Box app. It'll come with three little printed screws also. You'll attach that here and you'll be able to get a larger spool on. It also makes getting these on and off a lot easier. You don't have to snap anything into place, right? Yeah. Now we can get ready to print. Before we start, a very important tip is to always take this little cord bundle out or your prints are going to go messed up. Right now, our printer screen says, ready to rumble. Vic, why don't you get it warmed up? Okay. So, first you want to click the four squares in the gray circle, and then you want to click the food button. Yep, so, like Victor said, that gray circle with the four little white squares, that's basically our menu button. So, menu, food. Um, the food button really means warm up, right? But the reason it's called food is because you want to hit that button every time you put food in, and every time you're getting ready to take food out. We do not force this in, and we never yank it out. That's right. <laughs> While it's warming up, you're going to see a warm-up circle, and you're going to wait for that circle to complete. It's going to show two arrows, one for insert and one for remove. What I always suggest is what I call a pinch test. You're actually going to pinch this food up here firmly with one hand. And with your other hand, you're going to push the insert arrow, the down arrow. The reason I call it the pinch test is that's what I'm doing to feel the machine vibrating and sucking in that food so that I know it's working, right? I'm testing it. At that point, you can either let go for next steps or you can hold on. I'm going to stay holding on, but you don't have to. However, you are going to have to hit insert every time the arrow lights back up. It's going to gray out when you touch it. You are going to hit it over and over until you make printer poop. Yes, he said printer poop. Printer food goes in, printer poop comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Not just any old printer poop, Victor. What color are we looking for? Yellow printer poop. You want your color. You don't want the color you used yesterday. You want the color you're using right now. You're not going to miss it. You're actually going to see it drop down like a spider web. See that? That's your printer poop. 
So, to properly collect your poop, grab your pooper scoopers. We use plastic instead of metal just for safety reasons. So, what you do, take your pooper scoopers and pinch your poop from the nozzle and pull it out. And be careful because sometimes that poop is hot. Now that the poop is scooped, we are ready to print. If this is the first time you are using your Toybox 3D printer, you're going to need to run a calibration circle. Yep, a calibration circle is going to tell us if the bed is too low or too high, right? Yes. You're going to need to get your app. Click the My Toy Box icon. Then click the three dots in the top right corner. Find Calibrate. Time to start our test print. All right, let's check it out. Always remember, pinch it on both sides, pull it down, and let's check this sucker out. Looks pretty good. It only looks different colors because Victor started feeling it. So, this is what our circle looks like. Compare your circle to the photo examples shown on the app and choose the result that most resembles yours. Then follow the specific instructions for which way to turn your calibration screw with the largest Allen key that came with your printer. Let's say, Victor, that this circle did not come out good. You're going to use the largest Allen key and there is a tiny screw back here. This is your calibration screw back here and you're going to stick the Allen key in there. You are going to turn clockwise to make your printer bed go up a little more and you would go counterclockwise for your bed to go down a little more. When you turn it, you only wanna go a little bit, like maybe one quarter of a full turn. And then you're gonna run your calibration again and you're gonna keep doing that process until you feel like it's good. We got lucky, we got a good calibration circle on the first try. Sometimes that does happen, but not always. So, what does this mean? We are ready to print. When you open your app, you can search for whatever you wanna make. But the very important part are all these little time clocks you see. That's how long your print will take. If you see a colon, it means hours. Today, I feel like printing a rubber ducky. <coughs> that one looks cute. Just hit print me. It will start the print on its own. You do not need to move the printer bed up or down. It's going to start itself, right Vic? Yeah. Like there we go, it is starting. And here we have our 3D printed rubber ducky. Before we even touch this or try to take our print off, we are going to warm up right away again to save ourselves time, right? Yes. Remind everybody the two buttons we push. The four squares and the gray circle and then the food button. So menu, food. It's gonna warm up again and we're waiting for those arrows. Let that happen in the background while you remove your print. What I suggest is going from the outside. I'm gonna turn this to show you. So if this is facing me, I take both my hands from the outsides on both sides, okay? And I pinch this, thumbs on top, fingers on the bottom. It's actually easier the further back you go, just watch out for that nozzle. And you don't have to be shy about it. You're gonna push this down. For kids, it's easier if they stand up and they put the pressure with those thumbs. However, be careful not to go all the way down. Why, Victor? Because it'll block the printer screen. Yep, you don't want to block that screen. Once you have it down far enough, this, remember, is a magnet. There is a spot in the middle for your finger. Up and off. Check that out. So your prints are going to stick to your magnet. What we suggest is that you put your thumbs very close to your print and you give some slight bends as you go around. Now the duck isn't really a problem. The duck is gonna pop right off. See that? How cute. But you never wanna bend your magnet in half. If you bend your magnet in half, it's going to rip. This is what happens when you do it the wrong way. Yikes. See that crack? So don't bend your magnet in half. These can last forever if you treat them well, right, Beck? Yes. This did not leave any kind of a brim or a ring or poopies, but if it did, you have to clean off your magnet. I use my fingernails. You don't really wanna use your snippers or anything um, if you can avoid it, because we wanna keep this nice. 
right? But if it has poop, you have to get it off because if you print something else and there was a yellow circle here and you print a red heart, Victor, what's going to come out on your red heart? A yellow circle. That's right. And you don't want that. Now, this should be all warmed up and back to two arrows. To put your magnet back, you don't want to just put it here and then shimmy it because it really sticks. You want to start up, slide to the back, and gently drop down. Now, Victor, tell everybody what button they're going to push to remove their printer food. Duh, the remove button. The remove arrow is also pointing up for up and out. When you hit that button, watch your printer food. Did you get it yet? Don't hit it. See that movement? You want to wait. You don't want to yank your food. The machine is going to spit this out. And Victor, when we get a good removal, this is going to come out nice and easy, right? Yes. If you go to grab this and it's in there, your machine is telling you, wait, maybe you didn't push the remove arrow. Maybe there's a clog. Let's test it out, Vic. Pull it out. See if it comes out nice and easy. It does. However, it's hair. hairy and yucky. So, Victor, what are we going to use for that? Snippers. Snippers. Snip off just the very end. Nice clean end. Do not let go of that end. Remember that part? You're going to squeeze this. Take your spool off. Wrap this around. And back in a hole. If you're done with your printing, what are you going to do? Time to shut it down. So what you want to do is you want to press this X and I'll get you out of the arrow screen. And then you want to press the power button in the gray circle. And then it'll give you a little screen that's all black, but says shut them down. So right now, Toy Box only prints one color at a time. But you can print items that have multiple pieces in different colors that you put together for a multicolor print. And you can print anything from a one minute tiny guy to an eight minute rubber ducky to a 36 minute gnome to a two hour gnome to a seven hour troll to a nine hour minion to a 34 hour Artemis rocket. There's so much more we can show you to do like printing your own drawings, importing files, Editing and resizing files. And you can even get play packs to make things like remote control cars, Ferris wheels, or even a pinball machine. Join us, subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Adios, muchachos.